Sprint Velocity is the global end-to-end -end solution that drives the connected vehicle experience. But it's far more than technology. It's safety, connection, entertainment, and convenience at your fingertips. And Sprint is helping car makers create unique driving experiences for every driver, every model. With more than 50 million customers worldwide, Sprint understands how people interact with technology now and what they want for the future. But the best way to understand how Sprint Velocity can change the way you drive and live is to take a ride for yourself. Meet Eric. He and a coworker just arrived from a business trip in New York and they're ready to get home. As they enter the airport parking lot, Eric uses his mobile phone to turn on his engine so the car can start to warm up. But before he even puts the car into drive, Eric looks into the one thing that's been on his mind the entire flight. Launch scores. Sprint Velocity pulls up stats on all of Eric's favorite teams. Looks like the Lions are beating the New York Jets 21 to seven. That reminds them, they forgot to send the final presentation to the client. No problem. Eric purchases Wi-Fi on demand in the car, his buddy logs in, and in no time, the proposal is on its way. With that taken care of, they can relax with one of Eric's custom online music stations. Oops, not that one. Much better. Now that work's wrapped up, they can focus on getting home to their loved ones. But Eric's wife, Julie, is one step ahead of him. New text from Julie. Read text. Hi, pumpkin. Welcome home. Can't wait to see you. Want to pick up Chinese? After he's done blushing, Eric drops his coworker at home, and now he's off to find some Chinese takeout, but not without the help of Sprint Velocity. Launch search. Best Chinese. Dynasty Chinese, 1115 West Warren Avenue, 1.2 miles away. Call. Calling Dynasty Chinese. Eric places his order, and now it's time for his car to get him there. Go. Turn left in 400 feet. He lets Julie know food is on its way. Text. Hey, sweetie. Can't wait to see you in 20 with takeout. But on his way to the restaurant, Eric decides to take a little detour to the future, where he's ready to see what life and sprint velocity are like years down the road. Pun intended. Decelerate. Optimal speed, 65. In the future, Sprint Velocity will recommend the best speed for Eric to save on gas, reduce car wear and tear, stay safe, as well as go easy on the planet. Now that he's cruising at 65, Eric checks in on work. Email. Sprint Velocity opens Eric's email account and begins to read the first message in his inbox. Hey man, congrats on the promotion, Mr. President, Sam. <laughs> nice. While he's feeling mighty fine about his new title, he decides to look into a few other items. Read World News. Newswire. UK financial growth slowing as Europe... Eric might be asking for World News, but what he's getting is the World News that matters most to him. His car knows his preferences and prioritizes news, music, sports, and more to Eric's specific tastes. But Eric's no fool. He looks into one more thing. Read stocks. His car reads each of Eric's stock standings, and it sounds like the future isn't as kind on his investments as it has been on his career. The downturn in his stocks gets his pulse going. With his hands on the steering wheel, his car can sense the change in his mood and turns down the AC. Calm down. Well, looks like Eric's got a passenger. And his passenger's got a passenger. But Eric's car knows all this. And as they pass the baby store, Eric receives a text. Read text. Congratulations, 20% off all infant products. Turn left at light. Oh, let's stop. We need a few things. Oh, oh or maybe not. No big deal, they can order online right from Eric's car. Eric's wife pulls up the store's website and orders a case of diapers and rash cream. She checks out and pays with her mobile wallet without ever leaving the passenger seat. But maybe she should have chosen rush delivery. Ooh, I think it's baby time. Eric wastes no time and heads straight to the hospital. En route, he and his wife do some last minute learning. Search books, babies for beginners. While they quickly study up, Eric's car updates his friends and family that they're on the way to the hospital. Even though this is all very exciting, Eric decides maybe he's not ready for the future just yet. Plus, he's still hungry for Chinese. Turn right in 0.5 miles. New text from Julie. Read text. Almost home? Mind picking up pickles and ice cream too? And that's when Eric realizes maybe the future isn't so far away after all.